She'll walk. Come on. When I stop, she'll stop. When I stop, watch what she does. Drop the lead. Face your dog. Tell your dog to stay. No. Stay, stay. That was a good one. That was a very, I never had that one before. I said, tell your dog to stay. He said, stay. <laughs> I never, I might use that. Okay, back up. Doesn't take six weeks to train your dog. Doesn't take 12 weeks. Doesn't take a boot camp. Typical Michigan weather, uh, but uh, I guess the fans expect that, not to have all sunny days. Everybody else is on the East Coast, uh, well not everybody, but uh, most people are used to a nice sunny day, but here in Michigan we kind of flutter a little bit. We're going to see what we can do, but the most important thing is to make sure that we can utilize the safe palm powers and uh, get these two dogs together. Uh, again, I heard they were real brutes, they were sick. I've never had a dog that gave me a problem always be a first time. Well, Danielle, this looks a little creepy to me. Kind of something out of a Stephen King novel. I've always had a nightmare of being in kind of like a horror movie thing. You know, you go out here to fix the dog, and next thing you know, the dogs are hunting you. <laughs> <laughs> Got my trusty knee pad on here. I heard we got some real brutes here today. We got a big old king dove and a big old pit bull. I'm gonna be ready here just to make sure that we don't have any issues. Dog whisper, Big Chuck McBride. Hello, Chuck. How you doing? I'm doing dandy. Your name? Paul. Paul. Joni. Joni. Alina? I just watched one of your videos a couple oh, you days did? ago. Yep. You know, flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> this you... is Mary. Mary? Oh, Tammy, correct? Correct. Tammy, nice doing? to meet you. And Big Todd. Hey, hey Chuck. Oh, Jesus. Going, buddy? What are you on, steroids? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, guys, this is Milford, Michigan, correct? Yes. yes. Yep. And it's a suburb of Detroit, Michigan, where the Detroit Cowboys stay. Okay? The Detroit Cowboys, me. Woo! Somebody give me a little bit about the history of the area if you can. Well, uh, Sears Lake is a glacier lake, and it was there. The cottages started appearing in the late 20s, but prior to that, there was a uh, Indians on the lake, and the one that we were told allegedly it was White Cloud, and um, you know they they had a little uh, commune around here. And then when the cottages start moving in, they moved out. But it's been, um, the whole area has been revitalized in the past years. Uh, Milford's grown quite a bit. 
and as well as the population on the lake. Okay, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna take Bronson, we're gonna walk him a couple times just to get the feel, just to let him know that I'm the pack leader. And then we're gonna do the same thing with Raw over here. So it's always good to take him for a little quick walk, give him a little bit of direction like sit and move again. Now notice that I'm making Bronson sit right here near Ra, okay? So he can understand that my energy is calm around another dog, so therefore his energy will be calm around another, another dog, okay? This time I'm gonna walk behind Bronson. Now if Bronson even looks at Ra, I want you to correct. Right. Remember, anticipative correction. Don't wait until something happens. Correct like it before it happens. The signs of it happening. In this case, it's when Bronson looks at Ra. That's when we're going to correct. And vice versa. Ready? Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to walk your dog in front of me. Joan. Don't look down at your dog. Look straight forward and go in a circle. Their language is easy, but it's precise. Now I'm going to let Ross sniff from the rear. Slow down a little bit, Joni, but keep going. Get that sniffing. Now, when Ross sniffed, I give affection. <laughs> I give affection when Ra sniffs. What does affection mean? Affection means that we twirled around the tree a few times. He sniffed the rear in a calm state. And because he did that, that energy, I rewarded with a double pat, which to a dog is like hugs and kisses and candy fishes from humans, okay? <laughs> All right, now we're going to switch up, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to have Ra go in the front. You're going to follow, and Bronson is going to sniff raw from the rear. We never, ever let dogs sniff face to face. You're always asking for trouble if a dog sniffs from face to face. Okay, follow, him. follow me. We want about a five-foot proximity, and we want to close it, close it, close it. I will be looking back this time just for safety precautions, okay? Nope, Bronson. So, what we should have did was, huh, okay? All right. We should have touched, right? We should always graduate correction. If we give sound correction and the dog does not adhere, we can give a louder sound correction, or we can give touch correction with sound. Okay? Let's move. Yeah, no closer. Nope, Stop. I want you to walk. Huh? I'm going to do this for instructional purposes. Mm -hmm. oh. He wants to sniff, but he's going to do it on our terms. Correct him for that insecure behavior. There we go. Stop. I'm going to do it a different way because Ra's moving a little too quick. Turn him this way. Facing this way? Yes, facing that way. And I want you to put your hand underneath. Grab his rear. Just like that. Correct. This is another way you can do it. Notice that I'm keeping. That's a little bit too intense. So we touch. That's what dogs do. They touch one another to correct. Notice that I anticipatively touched when he got excited, when I saw the first signs of excitement. So we're going to do it again, and he's going to do it a little bit easier, much better. Much better. And because he did it 
Good. We're going to give him praise. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. We're going to take Remus here and introduce him to Ra. We're going to start the same process of introduction, about five feet apart in a circle in this particular case. Stop for a second. Never try this without consulting a professional. You want to make sure that dogs aren't aggressive again, okay? And we want to make sure that we know the energy of the dog, whether it's dominant, etc. I don't want people to watch this video and think that they can introduce any dog, okay? There we go. Excellent correction. Okay, stop. We're going to do the same thing as we did last time. I want you to hold the dog by the rear, lift it up, and let this dog sniff. There we go. See how much easier that was when your energy was calm? Yeah, much easier. Good job. Now we've told Remus that he did a good job by meeting a dog the correct way. And we're going to do the same thing in this case. Now I want you to give your dog a double pat. You just told your dog what? Good job. Good job. That's the way we want to meet other dogs, okay? What I want to do now is I want to have all the dogs abreast of one another, five feet apart. You can come on over here. Always have your dog to your side or behind you. Pick a side. It doesn't make a difference what side. Let me have this. We're going to put a safe calm collar on Bronson because he's a little bit uh, overexcited, okay? So we want to settle him down a little bit. And this is a great opportunity to use the safe calm collar during training, okay? Now we're going to put the safety clip on the dog's regular collar. Then we're simply going to take the safe calm collar, very easily put it over the dog's head and snout at the same time. Then we're going to pull this rubber stopper down. Okay, so now you can see the dog settle down a little bit. The ears are flat. The tail is down. So when we go around the other dogs now Sit. with the safe calm collar on, Sit. he's going to act like a perfect gentleman. Sit. As you can, you can see the difference. Huge okay. difference. That's amazing. Yes. And it really helps us when we're training the safe calm car. A lot of people think it's just for walking. No. You don't want me to see Come on over this way. If your dog even moves, I want you to leash snap correct. Okay. You got it. Just like this. Okay. Okay. Sit. Now we're going to take the bruiser <laughs> over here. Right, and we're going to put him here. I know we're in a hole. Sit. Sit. Stay. I want you here. Always have your body in between the new dog and the object of fixation, or rather your dog and the object of fixation. In this case, the new dog would be the object of fixation. Okay? So your body is here. This is all safety, so the dog can't come the dog has to come through you. Get to the other dog. Bite, uh, same thing here. Same thing here. Is that chickens I hear back there? No. Well, it must be chickens. Don't talk about chickens around Chuck. Why not? Because he's got chicken legs. Ah! Okay, I want to talk to the camera person. I don't want any more chicken comments, okay? You know I go crazy when I hear about chicken. I can't help it if I got chicken legs. I was born that way. You now how embarrassing it is to go to the petting zoo and you're walking around in shorts and the chickens start flirting with you. Jesus, I went to the I went to a roasted chicken place with shorts on, crossed my legs, and they start to put batter on them. Okay, <laughs> I don't want any more chicken jokes. You got it? Okay, let's get. Yeah. All right, right. Okay. So what we're gonna do now? I could swore I heard a chicken. Anyway, <laughs> what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna walk all the dogs in a circle together, and then we're gonna take the dogs, let's say, from this area to that area and we're going to walk them on a more constructed walk. That's what we want to do. 
we want to introduce the correct way, right? Mm -hmm. Then we want them to be calm around one another. Mm -hmm. And then what we want to do is do a pack walk. So they start moving as a team, okay? Teams don't fight. They work together to get the job done. In this case, which will be peace and harmony. Right. So let's try it. in the circle, wide all the way around. Now what I can expect you to do in the upcoming day, take them on a more structured walk, maybe a mile down to the beach. Have them do things together, okay? Thank you it so much. It was so beautiful being here mm -hmm. in uh, Milford, Michigan. Yep. A uh, lovely suburb of uh, the Big D, Detroit, Michigan. In mm -hmm. fact, they're playing football tonight. And they are uh, they have odds to win. Go uh, I'm Dog Whisperer, Big Chuck McBride. And thank you guys for tuning in. And I'm Joni Shea. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs>